Hello, what's up you to photographer Ronix Twitter and Atria. In this tutorial, we are going to be focusing on skin retouching using frequency passion. And in fact, we have always found some difficulties trying to retouch or you always have some issues regarding skin retouching. This video is going to be very helpful. So, I would first of all request that you don't skip anything in this very video because I'm going to be mentioning the most crucial things and some mistakes that people tend to do. As they are beginning to do or understand frequency separation as a skin retouching technique. So if I will find the video helpful, I would request that you hit the like button because it is going to help you to push and recommend this to many people out there and also help the channel grow in the long run. So basically we're going to be learning frequency separation from the very start to the very end. What you have to understand about frequency separation, it divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer we have our textures and in the low frequency layer we have our colors. So by coming to the background layer and pressing Ctrl J twice, you're going to create those two layers. And by the way, I'm using Photoshop 2020. So after doing this, simply rename these two low frequency and you're going to name this to high frequency. And like I said, these two layers, the lower one contains the colors the, and the high frequency layer contains the textures. So hide the high frequency layer by clicking on the eye icon. Then you come to the low frequency layer and simply come to filter, blur and come to Gaussian blur. So this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation. And this is the most misused step. Remember, if I told you don't do this step right, you won't be able to have the best out of your skin texture after retouching the image. So this is the most important step, like I've said. So just come and take the radius all the way down and after taking it all the way down simply look for that area that seems to have more skin textures than the rest of, than the, rest of the skin and using that area as a reference we are simply going to start blurring out those textures from this area so you have to click and move this slider gradually up to the point when the, when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and stop at that point so at around 7 that is when the textures are just starting to disappear. So for your image, always move the slide up to a point when the textures are just starting to disappear from your image. So don't use my same radius because the details in my image may be different from yours. So when you do this step right, it means you're going to be having the best out of the, the skin texture in your image. So after you have done this, the next thing I'm going to do is simply going to come and simply hit OK. So when we come to OK, it is going to apply the Gaussian blur over the overall image. But this slide is going to look a little bit blurry like you can see. But we can't see the textures quite well. So just come to the high frequency and now activate the texture layer or the high frequency layer and simply come to image. Then you come to apply image. When you come to apply image, you are simply going to come to the source is the name of the image. Then the layer from which you are subtracting the textures is going to be the low frequency layer. The channel has to be RGB. So if I told you are having 16 right here, it means the image is going to be a 16-bit image. And if I told you are having 8 right here, it means your image is 8-bit. So those two values usually have a different method for skin retouching. So for my case, mine is a 16-bit image. So simply change the blend mode from that and change it to add. Then opacity at 100%. Preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is to an offset to zero. And turn on the invert option and, and you see the textures on this gray layer. Then if I told you are having eight right here, you simply have to turn off the invert option and make sure the blend mode is subtract. The scale has to be two and offset 128. But since mine is a 16-bit image, I'll simply take it back to add. Scale is two, offset zero, and turn on the invert option and simply hit OK. So after we have done this, the next thing we are going to do, we want to make sure this layer is hiding the gray color from the image. So simply come to the blend mode and change it from normal. And simply change it back to linear light and we'll get back the image that it was meant to be. So we are going to put these two in a group by pressing Ctrl G on the keyboard to group this. And you can rename this to frequency separation. And after doing this, simply drop down on the drop down arrow right here and select the low frequency layer. Remember, when we are skin retouching, we always want to work on the 
color as alone and the texture as alone. So we we'll find both independent. It's that when we combine all the layers, we end up with a nicely retouched image. So after you have done this, simply come and hide the high frequency layer. So the reason for this is because when we are working on the low frequency layer or on the color layer, we don't want any distraction from the textures. That is why you have hidden the high frequency layer and you have selected the low frequency layer, which one to work on basically. So come under the brushes, get the mixer brush tool. And for your settings, make sure you use the hardness of 0%. Make sure a clean brush is selected because we don't want the brush to keep on carrying color from one area to another. Remember, skin tones are usually having different or a variety of colors. So we don't want color to be picked from one area to another. Make sure a clean brush is selected. So this option that says clean brush after each and every stroke has been selected because these two work hand in hand. So the weight we're going to be using is 9%. Load 75, mix 90, flow 100%. And this option right here has to be on 10% right here. Make sure sample all layers is not checked because when you leave this option checked, it means the brush is going to also sample information from these layers. So if at all you're retouching with the high frequency layer turned on, it means when you turn this on, the brush is going to be painting back textures in the low frequency layer, which we don't want. You can see that it has painted back textures in this low frequency layer. So make sure always sample all layers is not turned on and you hide the high frequency layer and after doing that simply come and when you're working on the image and your brush is showing a plus icon simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard so to increase on the size of the brush as we're working or reduce it you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard so as you're working on the skin always remember that every area has to be worked on using a brush that fits within the perimeters of that given area or a given color in that area so we are just going to start applying the missile brush tool and how to apply it you simply left click and hold down and when you're touching always make sure your image is at a distance because when you zoom all the way in you won't be able to see the uneven skin tone transitions so for this step we just want to even out the skin tone transitions in this image and simply so how to use the mixer brush tool, you left click and hold down and simply start brushing on the skin. So you left click and hold down and you mix colors that are looking alike in the skin area. And like I said, you have to keep on reducing on the size of the mixer brush tool as you're working on the image. And by the way, the image was taken by GMAX Studios. And I'll also link his Instagram in the description so you guys can check him out. So I'm just going to keep on. So you mix the colors that are looking alike in this very image. And how to move the strokes of the Mr. Brush tool? Always move them in the direction of how the area is shaped so that you don't distort or change the original shape of the model's face. And the more plastic the image is getting, the better the results from your skin retouching. So always make sure that every area, so you blend every area and you mix it so that it can have a very nice and smooth transition and you can some using a relatively small kind of brush because i don't want to spill colors from one area to another and when i come and turn on the texture layer you can notice that the textures are still intact in the image and by turning on and off the group you can see that we have retouched that area so we are going to be doing this as you're working on the image and always check on the progress and i'll forward this and i'll see you later on in this very tutorial Hello, welcome back and you, you can see I'm now done retouching this image using the Mr. Brush tool. So if at all I turn on the after, you can see that the image looks good and it looks better with still 
the same textures that were existing before in the image. So sometimes when you're retouching, we tend to miss out some areas when you're using the Mr. Brush tool. That is why with the low frequency I still selected, come and get the lasso tool. Make sure the mode is in new selection and the feathering is 20 pixels because we don't want the edges of the selection to be very sharp. So we want the feathering or the edge selection feathering to be smooth. So between 20 and 22 pixels, I'm just going to come and select on the skin. So this is more of a refining step to fine tune or refine the skin. Just come to filter and come to blur, come to Gaussian blur. So this step has to be done with the high frequency light turned on. So the, the radius that you had for your image or se separating the frequencies of the image, just multiply that radius by three and type in that value. So I'll just type in 21 and you can see the texture is still as natural as possible. So deselect, click out from the selection to deselect that area. So right click and come to Gaussian blur. So that is how you can use the lasso tool technique to fine tune or refine the areas you may have accidentally missed out when you're using the mixer brush tool while you're doing your frequency separation. And you can see that this makes the image look better. But oftentimes some people tend to misuse this technique because they select the whole nose and when you select the whole nose it's going to make it flat so when it comes to the nose select these areas that are dark alone and select the highlight alone so that when you overdo the highlight and the nose looks big or flat simply right click on the selection and simply come to fade gush and blend simply reduce on the opacity of that effect in that area so that you can maintain the originality in the highlight area in the nose side it can look as natural as it were before so right click and come to gush and blur and now you can see that we are done retouching this very image using frequency separation so this is the image before after before after so you can proceed and remove the blemishes if at all you have a number of skin textures or blemishes or pimples within the image so this is the before after before after so this is how you can do frequency separation from the very start to the very end and if at all you have learned something or two from this video i request that you hit the like button and don't forget to always keep practicing and also keep creating